The cops have gone too far, Van Dam. It's time for us to take matters into our own hands. Vigilante justice! They found us! I'll cover you! No, no Jean-Claude. I'm not running this time. You may have noticed that in the new iRide Park City edit, everyone is wearing helmets. Under Vale's management, they want to promote the use of helmets in their park through their videos. It's as if they're saying, listen, we know you crazy kooks watch these videos and we don't want you to go in the parks and kill yourselves, but come on, Vale management, I don't think you're giving us enough credit just because some kook skier saw this video, he's not gonna go into the park and... Oh, I'm good. Okay, then, fine, point taken. But what I really wanna talk about in this edit is when Ozzy Henning rolls up to that green ball structure, one-footed with a broken arm, is just like, nah, I can't do this shit, I'm not Scott Stevens. Ozzy, don't fret it, homie. We love you. You got those crazy grabs, just do you. Don't worry about what Scott Stevens is doing. God himself is confused about how the fuck Scott Stevens can do what he can do. He was eating cereal when he dropped his fucking No Country for Bad Burt part. Spit that shit everywhere. Fucking islands disappeared. There was a blood moon that week, and that is a fact. He fucked shit up. Europe is where the snow is, apparently. All those dragon dudes were killing it in Tyrol. I don't know if you caught Gigi doing that ridiculous dead lung lagoon crossover that I had to watch like 10 times just to understand what the fuck was happening. Will Smith was there chilling on a Donald's board. Hell, in Europe right now, they're bringing snow into the streets and giving away money. It's like, I feel like I should just go to Europe because it's actually maybe a little bit better than, um, <laughs> just kidding. For America till the day I fucking die. We are all aware of a certain domestic dispute that has been discussed widely in our culture. I of course am talking about when Nate Bozung was on worldstarhiphop.com for getting into a fight with his neighbor for talking shit. Well, in what seemed like a cold case, some new video evidence has surfaced as to what happened that day Nate Bozung got into a fight with his neighbors. I never thought I would have to use this button, but... You got knocked the fuck out, man! Does Nate Bozung want to kick my ass right now? Probably. Does that scare me? A lot. Yeah, it does. Congratulations to Mike Ravelson for getting onto the intro of The Simpsons. Big deal, you know? We all want to get there. Some skiers recently posted a video of a snowboarder getting dogged on at Sun Valley in Idaho. And by dogged on, I mean literally made to look like a fool by a canine. I've added this song because, well, it's only appropriate. Homie, how are you going to miss the hat and face plant and tell me you don't let us see your ass when you're trying to get up? When this video started, I was staring at his boots, praying to see some ski boots, but no. Let me pause this. Even after you get the hat back from the dog, you let the thing start humping on you. Get your shih tzu together, son! God, if there was only some video that I could watch right now that would make me feel like I was getting back at every skier that had wronged me for making it. Oh, I'm good. Hey, Sean White, uh, I know you and I have had some differences in the past, uh, namely that I created an entire series where you were the villain and sole problem of snowboarding, uh, and I do continue to make fun of you constantly about your ridiculous stance and boot grabs, and, you know, that you have a nice amplitude on your method, but you seriously have done nothing fucking cool for snowboarding. Let me start over. Uh, Sean, I need to ask you a favor. Um, I'm just gonna spit it out. 
I need you to send me and Hondo to the Aaron Style event in Los Angeles. You need us there. We'll write about it. We'll make it seem ultra cool. Snowboard C-listers are the secret to it all. They make the world go round. So if any of you would like to help out there, get Hondo and I to the Aaron Style event, I've created a simple and easy to remember hashtag. So just tag all your posts, hashtag, <clears throat> Send Stan and Hondo to the Air and Style Contest in Los Angeles. They will make the whole contest worth reading about because after all, who is really going to spend 140 bucks? And hashtag. Now, I know what you're thinking. Uh, kind of long, but no, 139 characters, which is not only perfect for Twitter, but if every character was worth $1, then this hashtag would still be less than buying a ticket to Sean White's Aaron Style. Because, you know, nothing says giving back to snowboarding like a $140 Sean White fashion show. So yes, uh, Sean, please. Seriously though, please. Sean White Enterprises? Dear Stan, congratulations. On behalf of the Sean White Enterprises, we'd like to tell you that by the end of this sentence, this piece of paper will explode. Ah! It's the subtle flex and know that I'm a creep right in. Screaming love, peace, and chicken grease, my deep fried friends. I'm on the street till I complete my ends. Can't sleep, but fuck it, life is just a dream. I'm in and can't call it, man. This weed is anabolic. Got me stalling, trying to leave the crib, and I can't find my wallet. Them just stoner nigga problems, man. I manage.